Chris Bassett tonight gets the ball for the Mets. He's trying to fight his way out of a losing streak, the likes of which he says he's never seen before. Yeah, he certainly did. He is searching for an answer, and the Mets really need a good performance. His last five starts, he's given up 24 runs and seven home runs. And Yelich down on three fastballs, and that's how Bassett starts his night. High heat to strike out Christian Yelich. One away. Willie Adamas, the shortstop, will be next. Swing at a high fly ball to right center, fairly deep. Nimmo into the gap with Marte, who's going to get it, and it's Marte ducking away as Nimmo makes the catch. Two men away. Swing at a bouncing ball to short to his right is Lindor. He loves it, throws the first in time, side retired. And Adrian Hauser trying to pick up his first win since early May. He's a sinker ball guy. There's been a lot of action, but for the most part, he keeps the ball in the ballpark. But last time out against the Phillies, he did give up three home runs. And Nimmo leads off. And on the ninth pitch, he drives one of the gap in right center field, and he'll have an extra extra base hit. Nimmo on his way to second. It's dug out by Renfro and Nimmo will stop with a leadoff double. What a terrific turn at bat for Brandon Nimmo after falling behind 0 and 2 on the ninth pitch of the at bat. He rifles his 10th double of the year. Marte right and better. Broken bat roller to the left side. Nimmo holds on at third. Diving stop by Peterson but he can't hold on to the ball. And Marte is safe at first without a throw. Well Marte broke his bat. He's a pretty fast runner so it would have necessitated Peterson getting up quickly and hurrying a throw to first. We'll see how they score it. Second and third with one out. Pete Alonzo will be the batter. The infield will play back. They'll concede a run on a ground ball. And he lines one in the left field. That's a base hit. And that'll bring in Nemo. They'll stop Marte at third. Pete Alonzo drives in his 58th run of the year. The Mets have an early 1 0 lead. More RBIs coming for Pete Alonzo this year as he really shortens up with men in scoring position. Now McNeil has had multiple hit games three of his last four games. 3-0 pitch. Swing and a chopper off the glove of the pitcher. Hauser dribbles out of the short right field. In the score is Marte. Alonzo will be held at third. Going to second. McNeil. He's safe. Great hustle by Jeff McNeil. The Mets get one run to lead two to nothing and now have runners at second and third with one man out. Hauser tried to snag it. It went off his glove. That sent everybody into a tizzy. And McNeil winds up at second base as Marte scores. And Eduardo Escobar will bat now with runners at second and third. And Escobar puts it into play. That'll get a run home. Yelich back in left field. Alonzo tagging. He'll come in to score. The throw goes to third, and the Mets have a 3 0 lead. Putting the ball into play, making good things happen. Chris Bassett's retired his first six tonight, and he lines this one to left center, chasing in the gap as Nimmo diving, and he made the catch! Oh, wow! As good a catch as we've ever seen Brandon Nimmo make. Streaking into the gap, headlong dive, and caught it on the backhand. What an effort by Brandon Nimmo. That is spec. Spectacular. Chase Peterson with the bases empty and ground ball through the left side of base hit. Brewers are in the hit column. Squaring up Chris Bassett here in this third inning. Now Tyron Taylor. That's a potential double play ball. Lindor to Guillaume and a quick throw to double up Taylor. Chris Bassett's faced the minimum through the first three. Christian Yelich leads off. And he struck him out again with high heat. Both the Bassett strikeouts have been against Yelich. Two up, two down. One, two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Breaking ball in the dirt as Bassett works another one, two, three inning. And Escobar who's at the plate when Alonzo was cut down. Line drive caught by. By Hauser. Great play by Adrian. One out. Bat is just a toothpick now. What's the reactions here from Adrian Hauser? Then Tomas Nito, the catcher, coming up there with a man at first base. As Nito lines one towards left, Yelich back. He reaches up and makes the catch. Takes an extra base hit away from Tomas Nito. Over his shoulder, about a step in front of the fence, and holds on as he hits that wall. Great catch, Christian Yelich. Chris Bassett has certainly made some adjustments from his last handful of starts. He has retired 11 of the 12 batters that he has faced pulls that one into the shift under the backhand of Lindor and Arias arrives safely and that'll be an error on Francisco Lindor hey, it happens he makes that play 99 out of 100 times multiple runners off for the Brewers for the first time in this game and just like that the tying run is coming up for Hunter Renfro hold on the ground to third backing up Escobar has got it fires to second one he made a first double play Five, four, three, and that retires the side. And the Mets will bring Francisco Lindor to the plate with Marte at first and one out. Lindor flies one out to left. Yelich should have plenty of room. 
step onto the warning track to make the catch. Marte is going to try for second, and he dives in safely. That was really interesting. Marte tagged at first and was not sure at first if he was going to try it, and then decided to accelerate and make the attempt, and he arrived safely. Better in scoring position for Alonzo now has 58 RBIs, and he lines this one into center field, and he'll have 59. Marte around third and in to score. Alonzo comes through again with his second RBI hit of the night. And it's 4 0 New York. Right down the pipe, wanted to come in, didn't get it in. And Pete is, his two strike hitting has just been phenomenal. I mean, Pete's only going to get better. He stays healthy. He's a beast. And the Brewers have something working here in the sixth, first and second, one out. And now here's a great scoring opportunity for the crew with Willie Adamas. Bouncing ball, that's might be two. Guillaume, the flip to Lindor on the first low throw, dug out by Alonso, and they turn the double play. Brilliantly done. Four, six, three, beautifully done as Lindor had to come across the bag and get that throw to first in time. And for the second straight inning, Chris Bassett throws a double play ball. And the Mets are out of trouble. Bassett pitching here in the seventh inning for the first time in a while. 0-2 to Urias. It's in there. Strike three called. Bassett drops a fastball pretty much right down the middle. And that is strikeout number four for Chris Bassett tonight. Two up, two down. 0-2 to McCutcheon. Struck him out. Chris Bassett with seven scoreless innings. A pitcher who needed a comeback effort tonight, and he has turned it in. Eighth inning, Chris Bassett still out there. The Mets have a four to nothing lead. Bassett a three hitter through seven. One two coming to Narvaez, and the curveball oh. struck him out. Six strikeouts for Bassett, who's fanned his last three hitters. His longest outing of the year. Two men away. Bassett looking for a big finish. Two two. Curveball struck him out. What a complete turnaround for Chris Bassett. Five rough starts in a row, eight scoreless innings tonight. So Drew Smith has retired the first two on fly balls, and the Brewers are down to their final lap. He struck him out, but the ball goes to the backstop. Nito runs it down and makes the throw. Adonis retired, and the ball game is over. Drew Smith works a 1-2-3 ninth to finish it off for Chris Bassett, who turned in his best outing as a Met with eight scoreless innings.